confident that you hear what I had to say. And I'm not just saying it so I can go and, you know, have you watch it. No, you need to hear what I was saying. And read the comments, see what people had to say as well. Everyone's sharing their little stories in there, and I really, really love that because it's a bit of a community in there. And you guys, like, that video, I've been wanting to make that video for so long, but I was so scared to because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to say it the right way. I don't want people to think I'm trying to come off bitchy. I don't want people to think I'm trying to come off with negative or bad intentions when I'm not at all. So I'm glad that I was able to make that video and I delivered it well clearly because the comments are full of positivity. There was only like one person that was like, just let people do what they want to do. And then someone else was like, you didn't get the message of the video. So, so if you haven't seen that video yet, male or female, you need to go check it out because I'm talking about boys and girls. So nobody's being discriminated against. So today's video, like I said, is going to be a get ready with me. I'm going to be showing you guys all the products I had on my face from that last video because I definitely have been doing my makeup a little bit differently um, as of lately. And I haven't done one of these get ready with me's in about a week, week and a half or two weeks. So I'd like to, you know, keep these on my channel once in a while. So first I'm going to talk about what I put on my skin first. This is one of my holy grail products. I showed this on Snapchat, you guys. Yes, I have acne prone skin, but my acne has not been as bad ever since I've been using this at nighttime and in the morning. Not sure what it's really doing to my skin, but it is hooking it up. And I don't use moisturizer, I use this instead. So this is the Dermalogica Phyto Replenish Oil. Um, Dermalogica sent me a bunch of products um, a couple of months ago and I just finally started using them just because I'm the kind of person that's terrified of um, trying new products on their skin, especially because I do have acne prone skin. It scares me, like, I don't want to put something on and it's going to break me out really, really bad. But ever since I started using this along with a couple of other products, I noticed that this is what has helped my skin the most out of everything. Not only does it just, you know, moisturize, but it also just leaves your skin feeling really, really smooth and really nice. And I feel like whenever I put foundation on top of my skin after using this, obviously I let it set into my skin a little bit. I'm not going to put an oil and just throw a foundation on top because it's just going to fall off. Um, but ever since I've been using this, I definitely feel like it has benefited my skin a lot. So go ahead and give this a try. It's the Phyto Replenish Oil by Dermalogica. I'm not sure how much it costs because like I said, they sent it to me a while back but it's definitely worth giving a try. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Milani Conceal & Perfect 2-in-1 Concealer Foundation, and this is in the color Natural Beige 05A. This is about $6 at Walmart, very inexpensive. Typically, I would use my Fenty Beauty Foundation, but I am currently too dark for it. I live in Arizona, it's hot, it's sunny, I'm tanning naturally, so I need to use this foundation um, for my color. I went to Sephora the other day to get another Fenty Beauty foundation, but I guess they ran out. Like, Rihanna out here making her coins. So I use about two or three pumps of this stuff, and I just put it all over my face. Let me move this, this weave out my face. As y'all can see, a sis has 24 inches! Yes! You guys, my hair is so fucking cute right now. Like, I appreciate it so much. Like, this girl, her name is Katie. Um, her Instagram is mermaidhairxo if you guys want to go check her out. Um, we have a little giveaway going on over there too, so if you guys are trying to win some shit, like, definitely go to her um, and check that little giveaway out. But I flew her out all the way from Dallas to come and do my hair, and you guys, I am so freaking happy because out here in Arizona, bitches settle for string cheese hair. And I'm sorry, like, that's not cute. Like, you know that, like, one mom at the soccer game who has clearly, like, super short hair, but she still gets, like, those platinum blonde stringy extensions? That's what these bitches out here be looking like, and I'm sorry. We don't have time for that. Like, that's not cute. Like, if you want to get extensions, the point of extensions is for, like, length and volume. So why the hell are you just sticking some damn string cheese up in there? It was probably, it would probably be a lot cheaper if she just went to Walmart and got some damn confetti and just attached it with some glue. So I made sure, I said, you know what, we're not about to do this because the last person I went to to do my extensions, they did me okay. I'm not going to say it was shitty because you guys saw my hair. It wasn't, you know, the worst, but it also wasn't the best. And my hair is a big thing for me. I like my hair to look good. I like my hair to, you know, be nice and voluminous and v voluminous, just voluminous. Length isn't like such a big deal to me, but volume is definitely a big deal. So I found her on Instagram and I always wanted her to do my hair but she lives so far away so we made a little agreement and I got sis to come out so it was awesome. I'm definitely very very grateful that she 
took the time out of her schedule to, you know, spend the weekend out here in AZ. So as you can see, this is, <laughs> as you can see, that just reminded me of that Halsey vine. I'm really sorry, you guys. I really just wanted, and everyone's attacking me online. You guys are just being so mean to me, and I honestly don't deserve it. I've been in interviews all day. If you know what video I'm talking about from Twitter, you're fucking iconic. That shit used to make me laugh so hard. I think I have it saved on my phone somewhere. That shit used to make me laugh. So that is all I do for my foundation. For concealer, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. I'm trying to use all these up, you guys. I had an addiction to this concealer in the past. So I one, at one time, I bought like three of them. So I'm like slowly trying to like hurry up and use them all so I can, you know, buy a new concealer and try some new stuff. I'm not that, I'm not an MUA. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not somebody who thinks too deeply with their makeup to where they like, like their collection is full of like 10,000 different concealers. No, I don't have time for that and I'm really not trying to waste my money. I could spend that money on something else like, you know, Taco Bell. Honestly, okay, why am I lying? I haven't been to Taco Bell in a really long time. I have not had Taco Bell since like September and I used to go there maybe once a week. <laughs> Your girl has been on a whole health kick thingy. I only eat um, organic now and I only eat stuff. That is, well, typically gluten free to be honest. I don't know if you guys were able to tell before I even put my makeup on, but my skin has been improving a bit. You know, getting a couple little pimples here and there, but my period's coming, so that's what's expected. But, you know, the skin's doing pretty good after I, you know, started eating a little bit healthier. So now we're gonna move on to bronzer, and you're probably like, Vanessa, you didn't set anything. What are you doing? I know. I didn't set anything yesterday either, and the makeup was. So what I'm gonna be taking is this Pixie by Petra palette. This shit is old. I don't know how old this palette is. This shoe, well, I don't know, 2015? <laughs> this is old. And I remember leaving this at my parents' house and my mom took it and then she gave it back to me like last week. So I've been using it and it hasn't been breaking me out or anything. So shoot, I guess it didn't expire. It is just bronzer, like what could go wrong? Then again, a lot of things go wrong for me. So I'm just gonna take this. Put this right there, add some, you know, bronze, add some color, even though I'm already clearly tan, but let's add some more color. So, I'm really, really happy about the feedback that I got on my video, so I just wanna say thank you guys for being so nice and understanding and getting what I was trying to come at because I was really scared. Like, my friends were like, okay, here you go, you're about to do this. Like, if you post this video, people are going to think you're being, you know, either judgmental or they're gonna think, you know, you're, you're speaking out of blah, 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 out of place. But then I, you know, filmed it and my, some of my friends watched it and they were like, wow, you actually like did that. I really was scared, you guys. I thought that everybody was gonna like fucking hate me after I filmed that video. I really thought like this, this is going to be the, the end. This is it. <laughs> and I mean, every time I try to do something like motivational, it either works or it either doesn't because some people will think I'm like, I don't know. Like I really, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say right now, but like, I'm just glad that you guys got the message because that is something that's really important to me. In college and in high school, every time we had a um, term paper that we had to write about something we were passionate about, and I can actually pull this up on my computer and show you guys, um, or read it to you one day, or I could even post it online if you guys would wanna read it, but I did a 10 page paper on body image and talking about media and all that stuff just because that's what it is and I love talking about stuff like that because I want girls to feel motivated I want girls to feel beautiful without having to you know face tune or compare themselves to other people because at the end of the day no one else looks exactly like you unless you got a twin so I just want people to be themselves and just be comfortable in their own skin and just no love themselves because like I said in the past your girl did not love herself at all I used to actually hate myself like I despised myself um, before I continue talking about hating myself, um, the blush. I'm using the NYX powder blush in the color cinnamon. I don't know, it, it's just, it's just something that I, I want to talk about because I feel like enough people don't. A lot of people try to be, I'm an advocate for da 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 photoshops the fuck out of their body because they're clearly insecure as fuck. I just don't want girls to feel that way. Even the girls who, you know, are being fake advocates, I still want them to, you know, feel beautiful as well, so. Hopefully these, these bitches are watching my videos. I know they are. I know they're lurking. But still, like, you, oh, I just wish, I just wish I had the platform 
that some of these YouTubers had that are, you know, literally just like throwing balloons at each other full of like weird items and like getting 10 million views. Like I wish a video that I posted about like, like my last one, I wish that would get 10 million, 10 million views because I want everyone to see. Like I need everyone to see that like I have a message. But I mean, it is a very, very, very repetitive thing that when people try to talk about something good, it doesn't get a lot of attention. But hey, when people are talking about stupid shit or going to jail or getting drunk or doing this or doing that, it's always like super exciting and everyone wants to watch that. But shoot, I mean, it is what it is. No one wanted to listen to half of these activists and half of these, you know, motivational speakers when they had to say something, but eventually, eventually they were heard. So my day will come. I would love to get involved in some sort of like women's you know, stuff, you know, to talk about things like this. My goal and my dream at one point was to, you know, and it's still kind of my dream, I would love to do this if I was given the opportunity, to, you know, go school to school, you know, different high schools, talk to girls, talk to boys about, you know, body image, like I said, because it's such a, ooh, because it's such a big deal, especially at this, or at their, you know, high school age, at, you know, my age even, it's so hard these days to, you know, accept yourself in society just because they're putting so much pressure on everybody. So I would love to, you know, one day be able to go school to school or, you know, just like talk to people because they need, they need that. They need that. Not everyone has a support system at home. Not everybody has an older sister, an older brother, a cousin, an aunt, or even a mother to talk to them about stuff like this. So... I hope one day I will have the opportunity to do something like that um, because I think that will definitely make a difference in the world. I'm not trying to, you know, be on YouTube and be like, hey guys, I fell down a mountain. Hope I'm like changing your life somehow. No, like, yes, bitch, I fell down a mountain. <laughs> yes, that's happened to my new viewers. They're like, what? Yes, I fell down a mountain before. But like, I want to be able to, you know, like, I don't know, I, I just want to change people's lives. I'm just trying to change your life. Just trying to change your life. Anyway, what I'm using on my eyebrows is the Cabral by Benefit in the color 6. Has this little brush, comes in a little pot. And I ran out of my Gimme Brow stick that I just dropped on the floor again. Out of, oh, it's not even called Gimme Brow, bitch. It's called Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've been using this shit for like two years now and I still don't know what it's called. It ain't even called Gimme Brow, my fraudulent ass. This is Precisely My Brow Pencil, also in the color 6. I ran out of it, but I don't have a little spoolie thingy, so I've just been using that to, you know, like, fluff out my brows and stuff. If you guys didn't know, I have a little clothing collection with this company called Clo. We did a little capsule collection. They allowed me to, you know, pick some pieces that I thought you guys would love, so I went ahead and picked out a couple more pieces, so we have some new things available on the website. I put a link in the description for you guys if you're interested. And um, seeing any of those, we made it very affordable this time. I know a couple people were saying that it was a little expensive, but or the first you know drop, but that's because the items I was providing you were really really good quality. I wasn't sending you no cheap shit, so that's why it was a little pricey. But I managed to find some items that were you know good quality, but I'm able to you know give to you guys for a reasonable price. Cause I want everybody to look beautiful. I want everyone to feel beautiful and just look cute. So, like I said, I will put the link in the description. I'm wearing one of the pieces right now, actually. Let me show you guys. Hopefully I don't fucking fall. I'm wearing these like Kim Possible, you know, looking little cargo pants. They are so comfortable, you guys. So cute, they go with so many things and it literally gives you like the ability to look like girly, but like a badass at the same time. And I also wore these in an Instagram photo. I'm sure you guys saw that. If you didn't, what are you doing? Why don't you follow me on Instagram? Simply Nessa 15, go follow me now. Like I said, everything is super affordable. It's literally like, I think it's like Forever 21 prices-ish. So, you guys should go check it out. So what's been going on in all Simply Messy's life? Um, you know, not much, you guys. I've just been here chilling in Arizona, minding my goddamn business. I'm gonna be turning 21 in a week and a half. I can legally buy alcohol now. I can rent cars in foreign countries. I can reserve any hotel I want. Like, life is gonna be the fucking same. Bitch, I don't even, I, I'm not even, ugh. I don't know why I'm going ugh, like I'm mad. No, I'm happy I'm not an alcoholic. But like growing up, I was never like the kind of girl who wanted to go to parties and get fucked up. 
So like now as an adult, still I don't care to go to parties and get fucked up, even the club and go and get fucked up. Like it just scares me the idea of somebody, you know, like taking advantage of me and like, you know, just bothering the fuck out of me. Like I need to be alert. Like I need to know what these hoes are doing. Like when I go to the club, I'll let my friends, you know, get litty titty and do whatever they want, but I'm gonna be the mom and I'm gonna watch you and take care of you and make sure you're not doing the fucking most. Just because the world is a scary place and I want everyone to be safe and I don't want anyone to go through, you know, anything that I've been through in the past. I don't want anyone to experience being hurt or, you know, being taken advantage of or anything. So I definitely am that mom when it comes to going out. So being 21 isn't really going to make a big difference for me. Um, hopefully my insurance goes down because it's pretty fucking expensive. So I'm hoping that's one gag that'll happen. But other than that, um, like I said, nothing much is going to really change about my life. Um, I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just taking Warm Taupe and Raw Sienna, and I just kind of put that all over my crease. And now I'm going to take Reg or Real Gar. I've never used this before. If you see, like, this color has never been touched. So I want to see what it'll look like, especially since I am having, you know, a couple of hints of orange, and I'm wearing an army green. I think orange looks really good with that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my eye. Okay. Oh wow. That's actually a really pretty color, you guys. I've never, ooh, bitch, you're getting the eyeshadow all the way over here, bitch. That is what we're not supposed to do. So let's go ahead and put this on the other eye, you guys. I didn't use this yesterday, but I mean, it looks kind of cute. You know, a little bit of a halo effect. I actually learned the whole halo effect, which is when you put like one or two colors and put it over your entire eye. I learned that from Bretman. That's the only positivity he's ever brought to my life because he annoys me all the fucking time. I post a picture on Instagram smiling. He's like, wow, you don't look like a bitch for once. I post a picture in red lipstick. Who do you think you are, Kevin the sea cucumber? The bitch always has something to say. But this is the one thing that he, or it, you know, <laughs> that creature provided for me, so. Yeah, we just did a little sweep of orange. I'm kind of digging it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I'm gonna take this brush that came with my Naked palette and I'm gonna take Real Gar again and I'm just gonna put that underneath my lash line and just kind of like smoke it out a bit. Just because, you know, there's, there's never, you know, there's never too much eyeshadow. The only eyeshadow tip that I have for you guys is be careful when using blue eyeshadow and wearing red lipstick because, sis. Okay, so now that we're done with applying that, oh my gosh, I look like a fucking snake. Oh wait, I forgot, I am a snake, right? I can't wait to get Liddy fucking titty in Vegas. Woo! That's where I'm going for my birthday. I didn't even mention that. I'm going to Vegas for my birthday. I'm super excited. There's a lot of people in Vegas that I want to fuck up. So if you're there and you want me to beat your ass for my birthday, I would love for that to be my gift. <laughs> you guys, I'm like, I've, I've been very positive, as you can see, you know, very glowy, very, you know, do me. But there's a couple bitches that need their ass beat. So if, you, if you're in Vegas and, you know, you need your ass beat, let me know where you're at. <laughs> so I'm taking this brush and I'm just putting a brown eyeshadow along my lash line just because I want to darken it up a little bit for when I put my um, mascara. Just because I don't wear eyeliner anymore i don't know why but i'm kind of past that phase in my makeup life and i feel like putting on eyeliner darkens up my eyes too much it's so crazy because people used to call me like the wing queen because i used to always do a wing bitch and it was always precise but now i'm just like i don't even step foot in the eyeliner section i don't know i'm just maybe i'm just over it maybe i'll come back to it when i'm older but right now i'm just like eh. so this is the scandalized retro glam by Rimmel London um, mascara. I really, really like it. And it, I don't know what it is, but like ever since I started using this and I stopped using other mascaras, my lashes are like finally growing, you guys. Like I literally had no fucking lashes after I got my lash extensions out. And like within a month, month and a half, they grew in about halfway already. So sis got lashes. I don't know what this mascara is doing. I doubt it has anything in it that helps your lashes grow. But maybe it's just like really lightweight so it's allowing them to. Cause I was using other mascaras and they were not grow. Like I would, you know, 
take a break with eyelash extensions and months would go by and still no growth. Um, I would just use mascara, but so far so good with this. So sis is happy, gives, you know, a little bit of a lift to the lash, nothing too drastic. Definitely isn't gonna work like the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced, which is my all time favorite, but it works pretty fucking good for, a, you know, $6.99. Mascara, it's so crazy like I used to be all about using like products from Sephora and Ulta and now I'm like I'm really digging you know drugstore products like the foundation like I don't know if they're just like stepping up the game or something Or maybe I'm just really fucking cheap and my mentality is saying drugstore is better because I don't want to spend more on it I mean like I don't understand myself like when it comes to like things that are temporary like this like things I'm gonna run out of I'm very very cheap with it. I don't want to spend a lot of money on it but when it comes to something like, you know, more permanent, like a purse or like shoes, I will go all in, you guys. Like, I will go all fucking in. Do you guys want me to do a luxury purchase haul? I don't want to do that. Like, I I watch like Trisha Paytas's when she used to do them before she went crazy. I used to watch those. Um, I used to watch, you know, all these other people, you know, doing unbaggings and hauls like that. And I never felt like, oh, they're showing up. I just thought, oh, they're showing their items. And I want to do that, but I don't want people to get the, you know, idea that I'm trying to, like, show off how much I spent or how much money I've spent. But if you guys would like for me to do a haul on, you know, like, bags and shoes that I've gotten in the past month, um, let me know in the comments below and I would love to do that for you guys. My next video is going to be a haul. I have some things that I got from the mall, some things that I got from Forever 21. So, regardless, you guys are getting a haul. But should I do, like, a little luxury haul? Is that something you guys would be interested in? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna put some on the other eye as well. I don't know why it's so difficult for me to put on mascara. Like I'm just so scared of it getting on my hair and then my hair sweeps across my face and I have a black line just like And then you know that is when you fucked up and you gotta start all over again. But sis, we don't, we don't have time for, for starting over. No, 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 I have things to do. Today I'm gonna go and do a couple of things so right now I'm gonna go to Zach's house, you know Barbie Guts, my little my little buddy out here. Um, so we're gonna go and film a video for you guys. It's going to be a um, he's gonna like dress me. He's gonna like transform me. He's I think we're gonna go to like a thrift store and he's gonna put like a look together for me. So that is a video that we're going to be doing. And then I have to go and take my car to get some maintenance. Be Excuse me. Because some lights turned on for something. So I need to go take my car. And then after that, I'm gonna go to the gym. Then I'm gonna go hang out with my family a little bit. So that's kind of the gag. So now that I'm done putting my mascara, oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes! It's all about confidence, you guys. It's all about, you know, hyping yourself up. Go in the mirror and say, damn bitch, if I wasn't me, I'd be with you. So now we're gonna get on to my most exciting part, which is the lips, the highlight I'm gonna do last. But this is what everybody was like, oh my gosh, Vanessa, what lip gloss is that? What is that? What is that? So I'm actually using two products today. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Dusty Rose. This used to be my favorite liquid lipstick, but I stopped using liquid lipsticks. I kind of got over them. I didn't like the drying feeling. I became more of a lip gloss girl. So I'm going to put this on first, and then I'm going to show you guys the gloss. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's so difficult to find this lip gloss I'm about to show you. I'm sure you could probably buy it online somewhere. But I don't like to do that. I If I want it, I need to see it in person. Because, you know, sometimes these companies be doing some foolish shit. And they say that they're going to send you this color. And then it ends up looking different in person. So whenever it comes to, you know, liquid lipsticks, I need... Or lip glosses, I need to buy it um, in the store in person. And the lip gloss I'm going to show you, you typically will only find it at, like, beauty salons in the hood. <laughs> or, like... You know, those stores like Fashion Q. This is the LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss in the color Doll Face. Doll Face. Why does that ring a bell? The fact that I'm doing all this and then I'm gonna go to the gym and have to take it off. I don't work out with makeup on. That's really bad for your skin. <sighs> Ready? Guys, just look at this gloss. Bitch, what you know about lip gloss? And it has shea butter in it. So it hydrates your lips. So like, 
even though I'm putting a liquid lipstick underneath, it's not gonna like crack it or anything. It leaves it nice and smooth. Oh my gosh. Who try who, who, who trying to who trying to kiss these luscious lips? <laughs> Nobody. Penny, <laughs> this is iconic. Let me put this in my pocket. I I love this lip gloss so much, you guys. I found it from Kelly actually. Um, she had like two of them and she's like we need to go to like oh you can also get them at the Dollar General I think they're literally a dollar you guys so inexpensive works so good and I was like girl okay I'm literally giving out all these secrets like I need to not tell you guys where these are at because I'm not gonna be able to find them anymore but they're super inexpensive and she was wearing it one day and I was like that is so nice on your skin tone can I try it so I tried it and I like it on myself too so I'm I'm gonna just assume that it probably looks good on everybody. So, shoot, go pick you up some. So for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Mean Money Hustle Baby combination. And I'm gonna be using this fluffy fan brush. I have not applied highlighter with a fan brush in so long, you guys. I'm like, I have, okay. I literally act like I have three brushes. If you watch my Get Ready With Me, I act like I got three brushes in my whole collection. But in my bathroom, I have like all these fucking cups full of brushes and shit that I never use so I'm slowly trying to like you know stop being a lazy fuck and walk to my bathroom to grab brushes I will literally go and grab my makeup sit in my bed do it and then just go or whatever like I don't take the time to you know like you know try different brushes different applications no I'm so lazy but now I'm back bitch I'm back look at that it's such a cute little glow I used to be super, super crazy about my highlight in the past where I'm like, I need it to be shining, like, it needs to be pigmented, but now I'm just like, I just want a slight glow, you know, just a little something, add a little something to the face, and that's it, you know? I take my pinky and I put a little bit on the inner eye corners just to add a little bit of a little shimmer in there, and I think that might be it for the makeup look, yeah. So this is basically the look that I did the other day, except I just darkened up the eyes a little bit with the orange. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully my makeup skills appear that they are improving some sort or of some sort because sis is, sis is trying, sis is trying to learn. I follow all these MUAs on Instagram and I follow so many of them on YouTube and I never even watch their fucking videos. And I know if I do, I will learn so many useful skills and tips, but I don't know why I don't. So that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this, get ready with me. Make sure you leave a like and you subscribe for more. Comment below what your favorite lip gloss is because like I said, I'm a lip gloss girl. I love to try different colors. Please recommend, or recommend, that's a word. Please recommend any sort of lip glosses that you think would look good on me so I could try out. And please don't try to send me no $80 lip gloss suggestion because I'm going to laugh. Most I've ever spent on lip gloss was $30 and that's because it's my iconic Dior lip gloss. But that's the, that's the most I'm going to do. I just remembered also, I just got this like MAC lip gloss. It's like an orange with like shimmery stuff in it. Like they just came out with them and it, it would have looked so good with this look as well try tomorrow but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you go and check out the Kolo times Nessa collection like I said new pieces were added they're very inexpensive so I want everyone to be able to afford them and I'm also coming out with something really really exciting and super cute that I think everybody's gonna love so if you don't want to get anything now from the collection now stay tuned I'm gonna release an item that all of us need to have and it's super super cute and it's just gonna symbolize like our family so I'm really excited to, you know, do all that. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you all later on in my channel this week. Bye.